are you doing today? I'm here with a different video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade your hard drive to a SSD drive, the mechanical hard drive to an SSD drive for your Lenovo Yoga Book 520. All right, so let's get into it. First thing first, you want to flip it over and you want to remove all the screws that you see at the bottom cover. There's one in the middle. Sometimes they put a plastic over it. You have to rip the plastic apart to get the screws. These are the screws, they're all the same size, and so you can't mismatch them. So don't worry about it, like, which one goes where, they're all the same. So there should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten screws. So remove all the ten screws at the bottom cover. Then you want to grab your opening tool. And by the way, I use this iFix tip. I fix it toolkit. It's really, really handy. I really recommend you guys to get it. It has all the opening tools that you need and pliers and grounding cables and the suction cup right there. And the best part is it comes with really all the bits that you need, the star and everything else. So grab one of these, it comes really handy. I'll leave the link in the description. There are different type of package. If you don't want to waste too much money, the, the good thing about this one is that they last you a long time compared to uh, those cheap Chinese made ones. All right, once you remove all the screws, what you want to do, you want to open the laptop at a 45 degree angle. Then you want to grab your opening tool from the set or grab anything else that you're comfortable with. I use this method guitar pick. I'm just used to it. Put it between the top and the bottom cover and just wiggle it around. Just like that, go all around. This one is already open. Do the side. You hear those click, that's normal. And then close the laptop, hold the cover, and then just slowly walk it around and lift it. It will come out. Those are the clips that make the sound. So once you remove the bottom cover, we can go ahead and clean this uh, filter right here. That's the dust filter. That's where the fan actually sucks the air in. So you might want to clean it with a toothbrush or even remove or do whatever you want in there. So down here we have the hard drive right here. There's one and two screw. This one has a warranty sticker on it. So rip that apart and remove these two screws. Again, the screws are the same size, so don't worry. Once you remove the screws right there, then what you want to do, you want to pull the hard drive towards the front end of the laptop, and you're going to see a gap opening right on the connectors, right there. Once you see that, just lift it up. This one is a Seagate mobile one terabyte hard drive. So let's say if you want another mechanical hard drive or you have another SSD drive. So you can grab your SSD drive, they have the same connectors. What you want to do, you want to use the same caddy to hold it in place. So you want to remove this screw, this screw, that, and this one over here. And remove the hard drive and put this one in there and put the screws back to hold this one in place. I'm not going to change it. I'm just going to show you guys exactly how to do it. So four screw to hold the caddy with the new hard drive. Once you have it in there, make sure it has to align. Don't put this one the other way around. Otherwise, it will not go to the connector. Make sure you put it on the same direction that the SATA cable, SATA connectors are on the other one. So the longer one with the longer one right there, the short one with the short one. So that's uh, once you have it in there, you can just put it back down on an offset position, just like that, and then push it towards the connector. Make sure it's all the way in, the holes for the screws are aligned and then put the two screws that you picked up from there, screw it back in there. Now there's a, another option to add an NVMe drive or even faster SSD in order if you want to keep your regular mechanical hard drive for a safer storage and you want to put a system on an NVMe drive which is way much faster than a regular SSD, um, obviously, faster than a mechanical, you can just connect it right over here. 
So you want to grab your SSD drive, is our M.21, stick it right in there in 45 degree angle, and it will screw right over here. And it, when you buy them, it, they include the screws for it. So if you don't, you just can get any tiny screws, including if you want, you can remove one of the screws from here, put it in there, because this one, you don't need two screws on this one, it's not gonna go back. Because once you put the bottom cover, it's gonna be screw going down here. So yeah. Oh, let me see actually, one sec. Ah, this is weird. Somebody already opened this laptop, I'm guessing. Because for this hard drive, there should be one more screw right here. But I don't see it. So it's been opened previously, so. There is one, two, three screws holding it. I thought the case screw was going through here. No, but it goes here. So when you want to remove this hard drive, you have to remove three screws right there. And if you want to put the M.2 drive in here, faster one, just grab this back end screw and use it in here. That's fine. Because this screw only holds it, so you want to slide down. All right, once you got all this ready, you want to grab the bottom cover, put it straight on top, push the corners, the sides, make sure you do those clicks. And the last thing is to put the bottom cover screws. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys liked it, click the thumbs up button. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Thanks for watching guys. And I'll see you in my next video.